Well, a hail of golf balls have been cluttering the streets and sidewalks in a neighborhood, even hitting cars. And it's been happening for years now. Neighbors say they've had enough, so they called our Lara Livingston for help. So let's say they're driving on the range and you're driving on the road. When all of a sudden, bah! I said, what the hell was that? I thought it was kids through a rock. Not a rock, a golf ball. The ball came and it popped me right there. It's perfect dent. You're convinced that this is where that ball hit? Oh, definitely, without a doubt. That mulligan stopped Oscar Freixas in his tires. He was driving on Southwest 152nd Street, as he often does, right next to the Palmetto Golf Course. Sure enough, when I went over there to claim, the gentleman, like protocol, told me there was nothing, they weren't responsible. Oscar shot this video the day he got hit, ticked off by the bad tee-off. Look at all these golf balls that I scanned in that little area right there. Good thing these guys over here has got their hard hats on. I, I think this is crazy. This is a problem. It's a liability. I too came across one of those golf Miami Dade balls on the sidewalk. Property of Miami Dade stamped on the side. That same day, I met this other Oscar. Uh, maybe like six years ago, my car got hit with a golf ball parked right over here. Oscar Patterson works across the street. I've seen the golf balls bounce and bounce all the way over to the parking lot. You know, cars are always coming up and down, so it can be dangerous. The county manages the course and says folks have been hitting its links since the 60s. Protocols are in place to, quote, mitigate errant golf balls, a 50-foot net around the range, along with two other nets at the 10th and 11th holes, and strategically planted trees. But beyond that, the county offered no further comment. Once those balls get out and the golf course is on notice of that, they have to do something. Michael Flynn teaches at Nova Southeastern. Golfton College has written legal articles about golf course liability. He says that liability is minimized when courses, both public and private, minimize the risk. Make the fence bigger. Make the trees tighter together. After watching our video, I think the fact that they have so many that were picked up in a short period of time, all the way across that street, that tells me that what they're doing is not effective yet, and they need to do something more. If it's 50 feet, then build it 70 feet. But protect us, if we are the taxpayers, and one life is worth so much more than a piece of lead. Now, there are close to 1,100 golf courses in the state of Florida alone, and more than 80 18-hole courses across Miami-Dade, Broward, and the Keys. So your likelihood of getting hit by one of those is a little bit higher. Now, besides calling your insurance company, you could go after the golfer, but first you have to find them and prove your case. And there is a limit on how much a public course is liable for injuries or damages, not so much for private courses. But again, you have to prove the case. And these are just the golf balls that we found when we were oh out there gosh. doing oh, that story out at the wow. Palmetto. So, so you went out once or twice. These were right we went out on the road. Twice, and these were the ones that we picked up. Yeah. Oh yeah. boy. So it you know, sounds like the real goal here is just to make the nets higher, but it seems like there could be a number of solutions. A number of solutions. It. More yeah. trees, denser yeah. trees, okay. a higher net, as long okay. as they're mitigating it, which is what that attorney was talking about, should be able to kind of minimize again the risk. But yeah, you golf, yeah. feel free. Oh okay. yeah, and you get one of these in the head and uh, it's, right. oh that's boy, that's a serious yeah, that's injury. All right, we know you'll follow up. Indeed. Thank you. Yes, and do you have a problem you want to leave to Laren? Just send an email to Laren at local10.com, L-A-Y-R-O-N at local10.com. Well,